Jill and this is a channel where we mix sweet and simple together. If I think you can do it, I will put it on this channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple pumpkin cake. Perfect for the holidays, especially Halloween parties or Thanksgiving or anything having to do with fall and anything having to do with pumpkins. I'm going to show you a really easy way to turn an ordinary cake into a cute pumpkin. You can make it a regular pumpkin or an actual jack-o'-lantern. Let me show you the ingredients and then we'll get decorating. The best part about this pumpkin cake is all of the ingredients you need you can find at your local grocery store. These are ice cream cones. Now there's a box that comes with, they're called rainbow, and it comes in brown, pink, and green. If you can't find these, you can just use regular ice cream cones. That's no problem. And then you need to find some kind of candy that's green. I'm, I'm, I can either use these little green Tootsie Rolls, they're fruit shoes, or these green Airhead. Those are gonna help us make the vines that we're gonna make. And then you need some orange. I'm using an orange Americolor uh, food gel. I'm using a number 21 tip, but you can use really any star tip. And then a disposable decorating bag or a pastry bag if you have it. Now, if you want to make a face on your pumpkin, then you need some black candy. And I'm gonna use some black gumdrops. I'm gonna roll them out and then we're gonna make a face with our pumpkin. Let me show you how to get started and decorate. So while my cakes are in the oven, I am making the buttercream that we're going to use. Half of it's going to be white and half of it's going to be orange. So I didn't double the recipe below, but I didn't do a, a one recipe and a half just so I had enough to decorate the top. All right, I'm going to go check on the cakes and we're going to get started decorating. My cakes are done. I made a really nice, delicious butter cake, which I'll link down below. And I just crumb coated it. Crumb coating is just really basically sealing in all the juices. So filling doesn't fall out and then you have a nice foundation to start with your decorating. I'm just going to decorate the entire cake with a white buttercream, which I also will link down below. I'm not gonna put as much frosting on the top because we're gonna put a lot of orange frosting. You want too much frosting in there. And I'm just going to ice the sides just very lightly. This would be a great fun cake to make for a Halloween party. Now if you're just going to make it for like Thanksgiving or a harvest party and you don't want to make a face, it's going to be just cute just as like looking like a pumpkin. Don't worry about all those little things that drop off of there. <laughs> That's the interesting thing about decorating is you get frosting everywhere. Now, um, this plate, oh my gosh, I found this orange plate at the party store in the Halloween section. And you know how it is nowadays, the Halloween section is up like in the summer. <laughs> I think I found it in July. They already had all their party Halloween stuff up. All right, I'm just gonna do a real quick turn here, get it all cleaned up. I just wanted to show you that I always keep a little towel, a little wet towel, just so I can clean the sides of my plate before I actually do the main decorating, just to get it nice and cleaned up. I'll clean it up and let's show you how to make the pumpkin. Now with the remaining white buttercream, I'm going to add my orange Americolor, quite a lot because I really want it to be a vibrant orange. I'm gonna mix this up really well. Then I'm gonna put it in my disposable bag with my number 21 tip. And I'm gonna show you, oh, I want more orangey than that. Orange has a yellow and red component to it, so um, you're gonna have to add a lot because red is really a hard color to get to be a true color. So I'm gonna keep getting it to the, red, the orange that I want. All right, I've got that beautiful, vibrant orange color that I was looking for. I'm kind of using my plate and this pumpkin as my inspiration. Now using a toothpick, you want to kind of score uh, just the template a little bit because um, pumpkins don't go straight up and down. They kind of curve like this, if you can see that. So that's going to be my guide as we do. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to put my stem on now and kind of stick it in the cake. That way I have also a guide. I can kind of turn it like that. And what you're gonna do is you're just basically gonna start in the middle and just go up and down to that first part. Just gonna make little squigglies here. 
and just keep going at it. Now you could use lines, make the orange lines if you want, but I'm not going to do that. All right, I'm going to keep going with this. So right now it looks like a carrot. <laughs> I just saw that. That's pretty funny actually. All right, now I'm just going to fill this part in, giving it more definition. I love this color. It's so pretty. And then if you want to turn your turntable, if you don't have a turntable, you can use a Lazy Susan, you can use one of those cabinet turners they sell at the kitchen store. I actually just saw them for really cheap at a local houseware store. Alright, and then I'm on my other side. It's always more difficult to de decorate on the side that you don't write with, which I'm a right-handed writer, so this is my left side, so it's not as easy. I'm just piping along. Now you could use a different size tip. You could use a number 16 tip, um, a number 18 tip. I wouldn't go any larger than that because then it's going to get too bulky and then too much frosting. All right, so there is our pumpkin. And now we're going to adorn it. We are ready now to finish off the cake by adorning it. First, I'm going to show you a way where you're not using the face. So what I did was I just took some airheads and using some scissors I just cut a long strip and then using like a stick, a pencil, a toothpick you're just going to wrap it around and swirl around like this and then slide it off and then however you want just stick it on the cake. I already pre-made some of these And then I use the other fruit chews, because I love this color green, to actually accent. I just cut them into shapes of leaves. So with the scissors, you'll just basically cut a leaf. And then using this stick, you can actually press in, and it kind of gives it a little bit more definition for the leaf, like that. All right, let's say we want to have a face. Now what I did was I took some large gumdrops, but you could use jelly beans, you could use black licorice, and just using a rolling pin, I rolled out to make a face. So I'm going to stick the eyes on here. I just basically made triangles here. Then I made another little triangle for the nose. You could do all kinds of faces, which would be fun. And then this one is the mouth. And there you have a pumpkin cake ready for the holidays. Happy Halloween! We'll see you next time.